This year's hurricane season is less than a month away. Colorado State University hurricane researchers are predicting a slightly above average season, including 14 named storms, with half of them reaching hurricane strength. Will you be ready if disaster strikes? Here with tips on how to prepare your home and your family for the 2008 hurricane season is meteorologist Mark McGinnis. Thanks for joining me, Mark. No, thanks for having me. So some communities are still recovering from last year's storms. What do we expect this hurricane season? Well, as you mentioned, we have an above average forecast for this year. So the big concern is the more storms there are, the higher probability of making landfall. So that is a big concern, especially after last year's devastation in Houston, Florida, and the Carolinas with Harvey and also Irma. So the concern is we have another active season that not only gives us more storms, but also increases our chances of seeing some major disruption, if not destruction, here in the United States. When we have a hurricane, flooding, or tornadoes, what are the main problems that affect our homes and our communities? Major disruption in your normal life. That's what's going to happen, whether it's severe weather or a hurricane. You're going to find out the power is going to go out. Your normal routine is totally going to be disrupted. You might even have some damage on your property. You also might have an inability to get around and get your basic essentials like food and water. So these are all major concerns to have uh, when we go through not only severe weather season, but also hurricane season. What can we do to get our homes ready for a natural disaster? Well, what you wanna do first is, as we get into hurricane season, make sure your insurance is lined up before June 1st. That'll help you be better prepared with recovery afterwards. What you can do now, too, is also being better prepared. Check out your home, your roof, your windows. Make sure that they're sealed properly uh, to keep moisture out. Uh, if you have a garage door, you're gonna wanna reinforce that, or at least have the ability as the storm approaches to reinforce that as well. Now I'm here on behalf of Generac and one way to really make yourself more resilient and keep your house a sanctuary is by having power and backup power with a generator will do that for you. Of course you want to be very safe with that and keep a backup generator at least 15 feet away from your house. What are some of the ways that you can also make sure your family will be able to weather a storm? If you're going to shelter in place and it's safe and you're not told to evacuate, you want to make sure that you have enough supplies to be able to ride out the storm and then afterwards as well. It's not just the storm, it's the aftermath. So you want to have at least a three-day supply of food, water, also medicine. You want to make sure your pets are taken care of. Now water, a lot of people underestimate that. You want at least one gallon per person per day. That's a lot. So think about filling up a bathtub with some cold water to use. That's one way to be prepared. Uh, on top of that, you want to check ahead with relatives. If you need to evacuate, it's really nice to be able to go somewhere where you have family. The reason why hotels book up very quickly and you might have to travel several states in order to find a hotel room. Uh, make sure your cars are totally gassed up before the storm hits. That'll help you be better prepared. And then one last tip too, you want to have cash on hand. If power goes out, your credit card, your debit cards, they're not going to work. Where can we find more ideas for safeguarding our homes when disaster strikes? To be better prepared, two websites are fantastic. Ready.gov, you can print out a comprehensive checklist on being better prepared for you and your family during the storm season. And also generac.com, look for be prepared section in hurricanes. And again, plenty of checklists there for you to print out and be better prepared for the upcoming season. It's been great information. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you.